Alright, well hey everyone, how's it going? Sean here with another Genetry Solar video and in this video we're going to be talking about defense. Uh, that is compound defense, defending your home, um, you know, whatever you want, your homestead defense, things like that. Uh, I've got some questions for you guys. That is my power jack inverter in the background with the Genetry Solar Wi-Fi board powering this. This is the deluxe model, of course, the best one that I can do right now. If you're interested in something like this that'll power your entire home, give you a good 10 kilowatts of continuous draw, GenetrySolar.com. You can also hit me up Monday through Friday, 9 to 5 Eastern at 833 Genetry. Please keep in mind that I do not answer my phone, text messages, or any emails or anything outside of those business hours please understand so yes you'll be hearing that in the background while i'm doing this video so there's a lot going on in our country to say the least it doesn't matter where you fall on the spectrum that's not what this video is about however i do have conversations besides just power jack and genetry solar I do have conversations from people who have their own homesteads or maybe they have seen some of my older videos when I was uh, you know at an apartment and I was trying to be a homesteader there so to speak or be off the grid and uh, so I've got people from all walks of life all different backgrounds all different financial situations who contact me on a daily basis and they ask me you know what they can do or we talk about what they have done and I uh, got a lot of interesting conversations going on I mean this channel and this lifestyle is basically doing the best that we can to be self-sufficient be it electricity or food shelter uh defense anything else like that that's basically and i really haven't talked about the homesteading stuff all that much it's mainly been the uh you know the solar panels and the inverter side of it and getting off the grid as far as that so that you can keep all your luxuries of you know the modern invention of electricity but not have to count on someone else or some other business or entity to be able to continue to use those. And that's exactly what this inverter behind me is doing. That's exactly what this inverter here will do for a customer and this inverter for another customer. All sorts of things that are, you know, that are necessary in order to continue our uh, desire to have all of our luxuries such as lights without the use of fuel and use the sun to power our um, our needs basically so that's where I have focused but I do want to start talking about different stuff and I've mentioned this in the past about homesteading and so on because Danielle and I are looking at land some property a good sized chunk to be able to basically be completely 100% off the grid not have to rely on food not have to rely on water from the store or shelter of any kind or anything else like that and I think it might be raining out there who knows but anyway so in this video I do want to talk about the homesteading defense it's something that that comes up from time to time I get a lot of people who will ask me hey if you thought about what you're gonna do to defend your property have you have you thought about uh, you know any sort of perimeter or alert system or anything else like that well yes I have but I don't have a property to test things out or draw things out but I have been having some interesting conversations about actual defense of property I'm not talking about just putting up a fence I'm actually talking about real defense where you have one or more people coming onto your property to either inflict injury damage to your property theft of your property etc etc and you need a way to be able to defend that just like any other 
base of operations you have perimeters and defenses and different steps so how do you do that well there's a particular instance that I do want to focus on in this video I'm actually gonna draw it out for you guys I want your opinion I want your feedback I want some constructive discussion as far as what exactly uh, you can do to better defend your own property um, you know there's certain situations you know when we do have law and order how do you defend your property when we don't have law and order does that change any way you defend your property uh, because liabilities may be there if things are still going good so you know what exactly can you do in every state every uh, city every country is different when it comes to how they handle your personal defense whether it's on property or whatever but anyway we're going to be focusing on what i like to refer to as being a tower defense so uh, basically tower defense is something that uh, it could be a structure a building a tree it could be anything where basically you have a view of your entire compound and what are the pros and cons of that and that's what we're going to discuss because, quite honestly, I'm seeing a lot more, in my opinion, cons or negatives to doing that versus, you know, not basically being up in the air stuck out like a sore thumb. I'll explain that when I draw everything out for you guys. So let's go ahead and get a piece of paper and I'm going to show, you know, showcase my artistic capabilities with the uh, situation that I'm going to be setting up for you guys and I want your honest feedback and opinion because I think this is going to be good for others who I know have the same questions. Alrighty, so I'm going to do the best I can to kind of uh, get this uh, <laughs> drawn out without bumping or knocking the camera or anything else like that. So uh, obviously we got a piece of paper here and uh, the situation is that, and I have seen this a lot, and this is why the discussion has come up several times. I've watched all of the prepper shows. I haven't seen every one of them, but um, I've definitely seen a lot of them either on YouTube or Amazon. Uh, watched quite a few of them, and there's one thing that I have noticed that some of them do, and um, I, I just kind of think that it might possibly be a disadvantage, but I would really like to hear what you guys think. So... Um, you know, here we've got your, obviously, compound, okay? It could be one acre, it could be 1,000 acres. It doesn't really matter the size for this. But uh, you've got your, your compound, right? And it's probably surrounded by trees, maybe some water, maybe it's just open field, uh, you know, whatever the case may be. But uh, the, the point is, is that you've got your compound. Now, mostly, let's just say in a perfect world, um, you've got your, uh, you know, your house and all that stuff right at the center. You've got maybe some livestock. There's a bunch of trees maybe that surround your compound or you've got patches of trees, etc., etc., right? So uh, let's just say hypothetically, you have this big structure of some kind. It could be a house. It could be some man-made structure like this. It could be a hill, possibly. It could be even a tree. It doesn't really matter what it is. But the point is, is that you are at the top of this structure. So, and hopefully you give me a thumbs up for my artistic abilities here. But um, you're, you know, you're at the top of this structure. And I've seen this in some of these prepper shows where they believe that this is the best advantage that you would have if you were going to defend yourself against any sort of threat. So you're standing up here at the very top. You've got your binoculars. You're looking around. Maybe there's one or more of you up here. You've got communication through radios, etc., etc. right? So... Let's just say that uh, off in this corner, you've got a scout, okay? And this is just like any other group. You always have scouts. You always have people who are out there looking for potential. Let's say that the, the world has come to an end. Everybody is basically stealing everything that they can to survive, be it food 
or some shelter or ammo. It doesn't matter what it is, but uh, people have grouped up, basically, to give themselves the best possible chance to 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 defeat a threat that is um so let's just say that a scout a single person down here in the corner they're walking through the woods or they're you know doing whatever looking for resources maybe hunting you know things like that and then they see your compound they've got their own binoculars they're hiding behind some big huge tree over here in the corner right they spot you first so they see you all the way up here standing on your perch right here then you're looking all over okay so they have spotted you because you stick out like a sore thumb right here in the middle right now what are the odds that you standing here in the middle looking with binoculars all over your compound are actually going to spot this person standing here okay they're behind a tree they're observing, they're maybe observing for a day, maybe an hour, maybe a week, trying to figure out your patterns and behaviors, trying to figure out exactly what you have, how many cows you have, chicken, how, you know, what time you get up in the morning, who does what, all this other stuff. All they have to do is stand over here and just watch. And uh, then they report back to their crew or group or whatever you want to call it. Um, that you have XYZ and that XYZ is needed for their survival and they note that you are standing up here with an AR-15 or whatever and some binoculars and uh, so they've basically mapped out your entire compound all of your defenses and everything else like that right so they're standing here uh, figuring everything out and you don't even know that they're there so anyway they figure out okay well we'll just have one person here I'll just draw X's one person here one person here one person here, you know, whatever going all the way around your compound Right then they bring in let's say X marine X military doesn't matter Maybe an ex Navy seal who cares it doesn't really matter who but someone who's experienced in sniping, right? so they bring in their sniper and They wait until you're up here, and then they just pick you off right off the top like that Okay, where how are you going to defend against something like that? By the time you hear that first shot, chaos ensues, likely then they will storm your uh, barricade or whatever you've got and they'll close in on you and they will defeat your defenses within no time. Because it's unlikely that they're just going to run with sticks and, and rocks. They're probably going to have their own armament, each and every one of them, and they're just going to storm your compound defeating whoever is in there despite the fact that you may have your own weapons to defend against but they have a better shot because they're coming in from the woods from all over and they know exactly where you're at and they're able to defeat or overcome your defenses within no time and it's not because they used brute force or some random people were just wandering about and you warned them and they kept coming and you were able to defend yourself against that this is a calculated defense and a calculated attack on your compound and you never even knew that the threat was there because you're standing up here and you've got a hundred acres that you're watching and they're standing over here in this one little hundredth of an acre corner behind this big tree watching everything that you're doing inside of your compound maybe they even climb that tree maybe they have a better view because they've climbed the tree and they've been watching because you've got a whole bunch of livestock you've got a whole bunch of fruits and vegetables that are growing you've got your own water collection that they need etc etc they it's survival of the fittest at that point, and they're going to do everything that they can possibly do to acquire your precious resources, be it guns and ammo, food, water, shelter, it doesn't matter what it is, they're going to do that. Whether they're sophisticated or not, that's what they're going to try to do, because empty stomachs cause people to basically go crazy. I mean, that's just the way that it is. You go into a self-preservation mode and feelings and laws and order and all that stuff go right out the window because you need to survive so you know you can see their side they're there to survive and they want the best possible chances to be able to acquire what you have for them to survive even if it means a few of them die in the process that's just the way that it is so really how do you really defend yourself against this you cannot build a 100 acre fence perimeter all the way around this okay 
you know how long that would take and how many resources and how much wire and all this other stuff that would take to do something like that? You just can't. So how do you detect when somebody is either out just outside of your barrier, maybe they're just inside of the barrier? I mean, how do you defend, defend yourself against something like that? Somebody who's observing. Um, you know, with, with calculated attacks and groups, like, for example, Navy SEALs, they don't just go in guns a-blazing. They monitor, they watch, they gather intel, they, they come up with the best possible way with the lowest possible risk, and that's how they do it to acquire or defeat their target or mission or whatever you want to say. Well, the same could be said for a group of people who are slowly consuming other people's natural resources be it it could be just the wood or the land or whatever maybe they want and and you know what's the advantage to you saying well you know if something happens i'll just go to my little compound that's under the ground they'll never breach my front door okay that's fine but how long can you stay in that compound sure there's some people who have compounds where they can live a year or two years inside that compound that's underground but not everybody has that not everybody has that ability so the first line of defense is your external property barrier whatever you want to call it that's the first line you can't just assume well if all else fails i'll just run into my bunker and i'll be safe there no big deal you've lost your house you've lost your livestock you've lost way more than you think just because you run away you cannot store 10 years with a jarred kit or that <laughs> jarred chicken shredded chicken or whatever in here you need toiletries you need all this other stuff i mean you cannot that's that's an emergency kind of way to just you know basically be hidden until they assume that they're going to be leaving but a smart mob will actually seize the compound and continue to raise said livestock and be able to use the natural resources that you have worked hard to create they basically just take it from you so in this case <laughs> i know i'm kind of getting off on a tangent a little bit here but in this case how do you defend your property this is great for seeing everything but how do you see one little person standing off here in the corner that is, you know, 2,000 yards away and they've got their high-powered binoculars and they're watching you from that distance? How do you see that kind of stuff? How do you detect that kind of stuff? You can't fly drones all over the place. I mean, you're supposed to put trip wires everywhere and, you know, what's going to happen then? When you get a trip wire, how are you going to know where it's coming from? Are you going to have some bell or whatever that's going to signal, oh, it's over in this sector or something? I mean, having that stuff, and even animals can trip that off. So how do you know it's not just some squirrel or some whatever, um, a dog or a wolf or a cat or whatever that tripped it off? I mean, how do you know? So... You know, that's that's basically the topic of discussion uh, today is how ex what's the best way to defend something like this? And like I said, some of these prepper shows that I've seen, they've got this big, tall structure that they stand on and they, they have their binoculars. Maybe in an open field, that would be better because there's nothing to hide behind, but not everybody has 100 acres of open field. And really, how are you supposed to maintain yourself uh, or be able to defend yourself if everything's wide open. Then all somebody has to do is stand over here in the corner with a sniper's rifle and pick every single one of you off without you even knowing it. I mean, when law and order goes out, then things like silencers and, you know, uh, bump stocks and all that other stuff, they're not going to be illegal anymore. It, they're going to be used in order to have the best possible advantage over whoever else may be in here. So before you think, oh, well, everything's illegal, so that's not... No, okay? When law and order goes out the window, then what was illegal is now fair game. It's as simple as that. And you're going to do everything you can possibly do, be it create some kind of a explosive device or, you know, any. it doesn't matter what it is. You don't have to worry about the law, so... That's the point in this video, is how do you defend yourself, and really, is this even a good idea? Is it really a good idea to be stuck up on some tower watching? I mean, it's not like you have bulletproof glass, it's not like you have any of that stuff that's up there, and, you know, even still, if you did that, then somebody can assume, okay, there's somebody behind there, some, somebody's behind there, so, but I'll just keep watching and seeing how things work. Uh, I mean, what are you supposed to do? So, anyway... 
good discussion to have. I know it's different than my usual videos, but I am getting more and more into homesteading with Danielle and how we can, you know, safely protect our family, property, resources, things like that. And if you watch the prepper shows, you'll see they do all sorts of different things and ways like that. But to be quite honest, um, I, I don't think that a lot of those are going to survive, to be honest. I really don't. Even the quote-unquote experts that rate these people, I, I just don't think that's... Whatever. Anyways, so what do you think? What's your opinion? What are your thoughts? I want I want a constructive, honest discussion. I don't want somebody to say that, oh, you're stupid because you did this or whatever. I want a constructive discussion and kind of... Uh, get some feedback from you guys to see what you think. How do you defend your property when you can't see this person down here in the corner and you can't see or hear the hundred or so people who start to surround your compound? So, all right, guys. I appreciate everything. Remember, GenitreeSolar.com. Uh, if you want to get yourself off the grid and still enjoy all the luxuries of modern electricity then you can head over to that website uh give me a call or text at 833 genitry toll free monday through friday i do like to talk to each and every single one of my uh customers before they purchase a unit so they know exactly what they're going to be getting what its limitations and capabilities are so obviously you guys have been hearing that uh that inverter in the background that's powering my house right now and uh that's the wi-fi board enhanced inverter Thanks again for all of your support as always and take care.